It's me, Ari Dossett. Often, people, people ask themselves the wrong questions. What if I fail? What if this goes wrong? Or what if it's not popular anymore? Or what if? The what ifs are always in a negative state. Okay, I can propose a what if question to you now. What if the Heavenly Father wanted you to fail in your endeavor because there's something far better for you that will last? What if, yeah, now uh, I'll give an example. What if your marriage should work out because the individual you were with had no interest in moving forward? So they were not, com- so that individual was not compatible with you. You were not compatible together, but you thought you were based on your own defective expectations. But now that you're renewed in your mind, now that you've improved, you realize, man, how did I feel for this individual? Well, that's why ahead of time, then father chased the individual away, so now you're better off and now you can actually succeed in life the way he wants you to. What if you lost your job? Or what if your business failed? Just as you would learn through economic relevancy that you didn't know before. That failure is only a failure based on your expectations. And that quote-unquote failure is not even relevant. What's relevant is you participate in the will of the Father. So what if God wanted this to fall apart so that better things can fall into place? I want you to ponder about that what-if question. What if the Father wanted this to fall apart so that better things can fall in his place? That is the what-if question you should ponder upon. None else. Was it for now? Keep on clear with Christ and be at peace.